G'day guys, Prime here. Thank you so much for watching these YouTube vlogs. Make sure you sub to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me to have you guys all subbed out there, everyone that's watching. Guys, I've got to put food on the table, so make sure you check out my athlete programs. We've got Athlete Nutrition, The Shredding Athlete, The Muscle Building Athlete. We've also got the Elite Athlete Performance Plan for any sport, and of course, the AFL in-season gym program with Patrick Cripps and Tom Mitchell. Guys, use the code WEEKLYVLOG to get 20% off all of my programs, and also a random comment today will be chosen to win a program. So make sure you guys get commenting and check out any of my previous vlogs as well on that game day sort of stuff. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into this video. <laughs> guys, it is so wet this morning. Last week I got myself really up and about with the game. Like I don't usually play in the rain, so let's get it going. Guys, it is absolutely pissing down again today. I wouldn't be surprised if the ground is absolutely flooded again. Uh, not that stoked, to be honest. I'm gonna go down to the beach. I'm wearing my hoodie. I'm absolutely freezing. Um, gonna go down to the beach, get a little swim in, uh, and hopefully that gets me up and about, gets me in a good headspace for the game. But at the moment, I am fucking angry that the weather, oh, fuck off, that the weather is just pouring down. But we actually had a massive chat. Um, we had Kevin Sheedy come into the to the uh, footy club on Thursday night. He gave us a massive chat about like attitude and um, and like I don't know, the person with the best attitude or he had he had the best attitude out of anyone and um, it, it, it took him really really far in life. So the only way to um, to combat today's uh, rain and misfortune is to have a good attitude. So we're going to see how we go with that. Um, but fuck me, lads, pissing. It's raining cats and dogs. I'm not happy. This is the downstairs area. It's absolutely pissing with rain. Uh, it's like, and it doesn't look like there's any um, blue skies coming as well. It's just like all grey. And uh, our ground actually usually holds up pretty well. So we'll see how we go with it. But you can hear it. It's disgusting. I'm about to take this dog along for a walk. Are you ready to go? Okay, okay. Are you ready to go for a walk? Yeah? Yeah, she's ready to go. She's pretty keen. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, see you guys in a bit. All righty, we just got back from the beach. It was pretty cold because the rain was cold, but actually the, um, the water was actually really, really warm, which was nice. Uh, so what are we going to do now? We're probably just going to go have a shower, get dressed, get ready to go, and then go have a little coffee. And then... Um, why did I do that? Um, and then, yeah, head off to the game. Like I said, it's going to be a wet one. Uh, you can see, see it's still absolutely pissing down here, uh, which we don't love, but that's right. We're going to, uh, like I said before, change your attitude. Um, mentality is key in any sport that you play. So um, if you can change that, uh, you can completely ch change the game for yourself. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, mentality is key and, I don't know, talk yourself into it. So I'm keen. Let's get it. Let's rip it. As well, the last few games, I've been running with the uh, Lululemon boxes, which have been absolutely elite every single game. Uh, they're a bit long, to be honest. I've probably got them in a, bit, a bit too big, but they're um, absolutely elite. I really, really love them. Um, super comfortable, so definitely a good buy. Ladies and gentlemen, week after week, I keep producing bangers. I keep playing bangers as well. We've got that new phone, ping, one terabyte. We love to see it. Took me about three days to bloody sort it all out. Guys, breakfast today. What we got? Two scrambled eggs with a bit of uh, parsley, some white bread, bacon, rocket, and also a new addition today. We have a potato rosti. Oh my god, it looks delicious. The dog is sitting over there. Coco, how we going, Buzz? Coco. She's pretty happy. It's still pissing down with rain. I've got all my stuff here that I'm going to take uh, in my footy bag. As you can see, it's still pissing down with rain. It's actually, yeah, no, nah, it's not. Yeah, it's not looking good, lads. But that's all right. We love wet weather footy. We are going to play well anyway. Togo's still wet from the beach. We've got a Gatorade bottle there as well. We will be having a bit of Gatorade uh, before the game. Let's get it. Breakfast done. Time to get on the road. It's raining sideways. Let's get it. Still absolutely pissing down. We've got 100 songs in 10 minutes playing. Uh, I don't really know how my playlist got onto that, but that's all right. Uh, off to get my morning coffee. And then it's game time. 
Oh, it's exciting. Just arrived at the game, legends. That is me done for the morning. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far and hopefully you enjoy the game. Fingers crossed we get a win, go Tigers. Let's get it. Well, that was a bad week, but anyway. Well, I'm running late, so I'm gonna run with it. See you later, guys. Alrighty, legends. I've had a lot of comments lately of people asking for like a little bit of commentary or a little bit of, I don't know, insight into what I'm actually doing during these games. So I thought, why not I try something a little bit different with the vlog this week and give you guys a little bit more of an insight into what is going through my head with a lot of different things and uh, why I'm doing the things I'm doing now. A lot of this stuff is trying to be as educational as possible. So make sure you guys uh, listen, watch, and uh, try and get as much out of it as you possibly can. Bit of uh, push and shove at the start, which we always love. Pretty standard with me when I'm playing. Um, always seem to have a little bit of push and shove at the start. Like I said, and you'll probably see a lot in this game, do have a bit of a target on my back. But as you can see in this game, guys, it was absolutely freaking just so wet. Like, there's mud everywhere. You've got mud all over your face. Uh, tried to hit a short kick here. Not the smartest idea from now on. Uh, we will just be going long down the line. I think I figured that pretty quickly. Dropped the mark, probably should have taken. But like I said, it was so wet. The ball was like a cake of soap. And I was just saying before um, to some of my friends that it means um, like it's, it's really good for me playing up in the Northern Territory because there is so much water on the ground and stuff there that it definitely made me a lot cleaner. As you can see, it's just stoppage after stoppage here. A lot of push and shove. Uh, and always, you know, take it a little bit far, but not too far. Like these guys took it too far and got, gave away a free kick. I would just niggle, niggle, niggle until I get the free kick. It's a really smart kind of way to use. And of course, as long as I possibly can get it here because I don't know what was going through in my head. I was trying to hit a short at, at, at the start and the ground's underwater and the ball's like, 35 kilograms so probably not a great idea but that's what you got to do in the wet you just got to keep it moving forward uh, we had a good first quarter at the end of quarter time it was 1-6-12 could not kick straight uh, to zero so I don't know I don't know what was going on most of the ball was down our end um, and I was starting in the midfield so I played pretty much in the midfield for most of the first quarter we had one of our best players out Joshy Wallace um, who's an absolutely fantastic footballer this is in the first, uh, what was it, first minute of the second quarter. Willow Dwyer hit me up with a great little kick and uh, went back. I was practicing these in the warm-up, as you would have seen previously, and luckily went back and slotted it. And also, just, I love a goal, so sometimes I just can't contain myself. If you watch last week's vlog, I uh, can't contain myself, so that's when I kick a goal. We, we love kicking snags, and uh, it's really good every time someone kicks a goal. We all seem to really, really get around it. you see it later on in the video, in the vision that one Tommy Rourke who you will also see at the end of the game when he kicks a goal we all get around him make sure with your defending that you're always really really close to someone but you don't have to be right on them I really like to uh, make sure that I get that tease distance right so I'm just off them about five meters I know I can make an impact if they do kick it to them and hopefully get a turnover but something you got to be really careful with obviously this one nice high tackle some might, some might call it soft. I agree with what Cody Waitman says. I think it's a skill and sometimes it can get you out of really sticky situations. So I um, wouldn't recommend doing it all the time, but definitely every now and then. Learned my lesson marking the ball, almost dropped it. Um, in this one, It does, the ball was so slippery. I kind of went to more playing a full forward sort of role in the second quarter. Um, usually if I'm forward, it's just kind of yeah, keep me as deep as I possibly can. That's where I prefer to play. This was Tommy Rourke's first goal, who you will see in the interview at the end. He's an absolutely hilarious fella. He's a bloody legend, and he kicked his first goal. I think he's kicked seven behinds. I was starting to call him Lewis Jettix. I think Lewis Jettix kicked something ridiculous, like 30 behind before he kicked his first goal. Tommy was ecstatic. The boys were getting around him. It was, uh, it was great scenes for everyone. Um, absolutely loved it. Like I said, it was so wet. Look at the mud on the ground. My boots are absolutely wrecked from the weekend. Definitely not uh, something that you want. I think I laid like 10 or 11 tackles in the end, but barely because like I was just always around the ball. And like also a really good thing to do if someone's down, always try and get them up. If your teammate's down after a tackle or something, always try and get them up. This was nice by this guy. Got me back up, which was pretty kind. I thought this was a funny play. <laughs> Two on one, and I don't know how I've had so much space to work with. There is no one within any yards of me, and this guy needed a map because he just went absolutely, I don't know where he's going. He didn't even try. 
Uh, and then I decided to give the hands off to our ruckman. I wanted it back, but didn't give it back to me. I wasn't, I wasn't happy, but I was having a bit of a laugh with it afterwards. I wanted to go all the way, but uh, nah. C-Mac, I love you, mate. I blocked him after the game as a joke and sent him into the group chat. Um, probably, yeah, pretty funny from me, I think. Then that was the end. That was half time. I kind of had an impact. Not massive, really. Uh, I think it would have had about 10 touches by this stage, but we were winning at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter to me. Come out, and it was freezing. Bro, I was so cold. I, you can see me here just sprinting because I'm freezing. Um, the rain's freezing. Every time you stop moving, you just got so cold. Second quarter um, ended up getting, oh, sorry, third quarter ended up getting a lot more of the ball. Again, back into that midfield role. Took a few nice marks and um, definitely started to get myself like right into the game, I thought. Um, just a bit easier when you're around the ball the whole time. Um, like to, to, to get around it. Just trying to get it on the boot as much as I possibly can, as quickly as I can. And uh, this one was a handball though. I don't know what, what I was thinking here. Now this is a, I think, yeah, this is the play. This is what I mean, like, made me a lot more confident going for an NT to make be clean. But oh my God, this bloke just came up and absolutely dog shot at me. Uh, even my camera girl, mixed media, Molly, she was like, oh my God, you can hear her in the background. She's like, oh, that would have hurt. Uh, and all the boys came and remonstrated, which was absolutely fantastic. Like it means the world to me. And I think it's a really good, uh, I don't know, way to see how good the culture is when everybody is getting around everyone else. If someone gets pushed down, Jono Freeman loved this goal. You would have seen him in the first vlog. He was so happy with that. He came up to me after the game. He said, Bolchi, you better put that in the vlog. Uh, so I made sure I did. But yeah, as you can see, like, I was just getting plenty of ball in the um, in the third quarter and really trying to get forward as much as I possibly can. Um, probably could have got a high free tackle, high free kick there, but no. Nah, like I said, you can't do it all the time because, I don't know, it's no good. Um, now this, I think, was like 30 metres out, taking a mark. I'm thinking, easy goal, like I know where I'm kicking from here. There is so much mud on the ground. I had to kick this ball so hard. I've like absolutely booted it and it hasn't gone more than like 30 metres. And I can usually kick at 50 without a problem. Um, but yeah, like I said, like look at this, it's just a mudslide. Everybody's just in and out. And that's it, like, if you watch early in the vlog, like I start my day off with something that I really, really don't want to do. To start my day off with going to the beach, going for a swim, going for a run before a game. I hate that. I don't want to do that when I wake up. But it gets you in that mentality that you're going to have to do things all day that you don't want to do. So that's kind of the mentality that, that I was in all day. And um, and it was good. And then last quarter, ended up just going to the forward line, played full forward. Somehow managed to drop this. And then I don't really know. I think I was going for goal. I definitely was going for goal. And I was so down on myself because... I hold myself to a really high standard, and this is why I hold myself to a high standard, because what people might say, oh, you're dropping your head, whatever, this is like 30 metres out, grab the ball and just kick a goal like that. Because I know, like, I hold myself to a high standard, then I know that when I do things, like, I can do things like that, and when I stuff up really easy things, it makes me really angry, and I think that's good, hold yourself to a high standard, some people might think that you're, like, getting down yourself or something, but... That's just the way that, that I play. Uh, Bussy and myself, who you see later in the vlog, absolute legend of a man. Big tall forward, kicked four, absolutely dominated, took the piss. So he was great. It's great to have him back in form. Good to lay some more. Like I said, just tackles, tackles, tackles was, was the name of the name of the game today. A lot of tackles, uh, a lot of hard ball. You just got to get that um, get that technique right when you're going low and hard for the ball. I'm not the hardest player in the world. Like I'll admit that. But, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much how the game ended. Finish it off. Love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. Let me know if you want more of this sort of stuff because I'm more than happy to do it. Lots of love. Yeah! All right, guys, we've, <laughs> we've had a big win uh, here at Rococo's Oval in Noosa. It was a little bit wet as you can tell uh, probably from the vlog and probably how we look. We've all got beers in hand obviously because we did get the W today. Stritch, how'd you go out there? Pretty wet conditions. Uh, yeah, it was pretty wet. Um, but yeah, I think if you were watching how I went, um, you'd think it's dry out there. I think I had 40, 40 and 1, so it's a tough day at the office for the Stritch. Hey, <laughs> I reckon you were a bit of a vulture today. You probably had 25 in the last quarter, mate. Get it when, <laughs> when it's hot. You kicked four today, bus. How'd you go? 
Yeah, well, uh, the cream rises to the top in the tough conditions, mate. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, are those teeth real or are they fake? Nah, fake, buddy. Okay. There was a few girls wondering on the vlog if they were real or not. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fake. <laughs> and the tattoos as well, do they wash off? Nah, nah. Okay, they're real. Uh, mates, first year at the club, how, how's it all going for you so far? Yeah, no, good. I mean, as you can tell today, um, it was a tough, tough conditions, but we really bond together well as a team, and like, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want any other, wouldn't want it any other way. Playing with the boys, it's a great bunch. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the vlog. We really appreciate. It. Obviously, meet best on ground again. I think had 20 and kick four, uh, so a really good day out. Bussy, can you give us a send off? Anything to finish off the vlog? Nah, nah, I got nothing. nothing anything nothing to finish off the vlog, Tommy? Lock in at the club. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay sexy.